What's interesting is this is not, to my knowledge, this is not really studied in neuroscience. So we don't know where do you store the savior. I mean, presumably this yeah. is all prefrontal, long-term thinking stuff. Somehow that shapes your circuits. The fact that I know of a savior. We, or we a... study it in some ways. I, Tell me. We don't know we're studying it. Okay. If you study vervet monkeys, for example, vervet monkeys will look longer at photographs of high status vervet monkeys than of low status in their tribe, right? Yeah, in, their, nice. in their group, right? So there's an association between social status and movement towards that admirable figure. And the alpha chimp is the highest status chimp. Okay, so you might say, well, he's the most powerful chimp. He's the most brutal chimp. It's like Franz de Waal blew that theory to bits. That isn't the case. Stable alphas are reciprocal and they have very dense friendship networks. Right, so now you could say, you take alpha, you're a chimp, you take alpha one in one generation and alpha two in the second generation and three and four and four, five, and then you amalgamate them. Well, that's, Eliad attract that development in religious stories. That's exactly what happens is that that's how memory actually works. Is imagine there's a historical figure who's memorable and stories are told about him, but then it's three generations later and everyone who knew him died. Well, all the stories get amalgamated into a central hero figure, and that's what's remembered. Right. That's what's remembered. Right. Yeah, and that's what stories are told about. That's what's remembered, and that is what is taught. And when it's yeah, taught yeah. to somebody, then they can use that hero figure as a way to navigate. Or they even act it out. They dramatize that's it. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, right. That's right. That's exactly right. So the, the, the historical memory aggregates into singular figures. Right. And then those are elevated. Exactly right. Yeah. And my yeah. point is, I think this, we don't understand entirely how that we know about mirror neurons and the fact yeah. that we impersonate others, but, but this is a big part of why we have hero stories in religion yeah. and so on, is so that we can say, oh, that's somebody worth mirroring. Yeah. And right. admiration is the key to that.